Never have I ever took a JetBlue flight out of all the years that I've been flying, but I've been missing out. I really had a great experience with JetBlue and I plan to take them again if the flights are affordable enough. Hey boo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira and on this side of town, we talk about all teams travel, budget travel to be exact. So if that's the type of content that you're into, baby, won't you consider subscribing and thumbsing up this video? I promise you, you will get the tea with me. Not long ago, your girl traveled her first solo trip to Cuba. Cuba, as they say it. I flew out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, straight flight to Cuba, about 45 minutes or so, round trip for about 220. Traveling to Cuba, you do need a visa, and this the airline did offer that at the check-in counter for $50. This is specific for if you're flying to Cuba with this airline. I would have liked that they offered a separate line for those who are not checking in bags. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you're doing like a domestic flight or somewhere other than Cuba, you will be able to go and check in yourself and get your own boarding pass. But flying to Cuba, I had to actually see an agent and I had to stand in this line. Well, it took longer because the majority of the people were doing check bags and I was not. I normally do a carry on, a personal item, and that's about it. Speaking of a visa, the only thing that I needed to do was pay for it. And then I had to fill out a form or sign a form that pretty much stated why I was going to Cuba. And you have to have to have that immigration form filled out and completed in order for them to even service you. So make sure you do it beforehand. Once I got my boarding pass, went through TSA, went over to the gate. Everything was easy breezy. There was a slight delay to and from Cuba, um, but it was only within an hour's range. So maybe a few minutes or 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour or something like that. Nothing drastic. Normally you can download the app and have the app at hand. And then that's where you can be able to find your boarding pass, flight information, your itinerary, any updates. They also send you text messages if you need like emails to update you with your flight. Now I can say that I was not able to check in with this flight because I was going to Cuba. You had to see a agent. It actually had this uh, error message that will come up if you try to. I do like that this airline and, and most major airlines do offer the whole app convenience. I really, really like what was included with this ticket. Now, bag measurements, I'm going to put here on the screen. I'm also going to share in the description box the bags that I took that fit for the carry-on bag as well as the personal item bag, which will fit up under your seat in front of you. You also, with this ticket, get one free check bag. That is not easy to come by. These airlines be so stingy when it comes to baggage and what's allowed with your purchase. So that was such a breath of fresh air um, even though I don't normally check a bag in to even have that option was bomb now you do board the plane based on groups which I'm pretty familiar with with every airline and I was in group B at one point I think going to Cuba and I was in group C coming back which it didn't matter to me because it's not like Southwest where first come first serve nobody has an assigned seat so my seat gonna be there whether if I'm in group A or group damn D or whatever the last group Z okay on my flight going I had a whole entire row to myself flight experience was bomb the customer service was okay so so not, not very friendly going into cuba but coming back there are more smiles kind of felt like the going was a little bit more uh rushed because this was only a 45 minute flight a little bit over 45 minutes so everything was rushed it was like okay we're gonna it does include snacks it does include water but we're gonna do it on the on the fly they did allow you to be able to choose from a menu, a list of what you've been able to get for your snacks. They also have things available that you can be able to purchase as well. Love, love, love when you're able to get fed and, and be able to drink for the free or not necessarily for the free, but it's included in your fight purchase. Now I'm gonna say the seating was everything. I am 5'10", the leg room was there. Even if I had sat next to somebody, which I did on my way coming back to Fort Lauderdale, there was no trouble. Like I had 
well, more than enough room compared to some of the other airlines that I typically fly with. The best thing about this flight though was the Wi-Fi. It's the Wi-Fi for me, okay? The fact that you got free Wi-Fi included, so throughout your entire flight, you are able to browse the web, you are able to access social media, you are able to do whatever the hell you wanna do, like honey. I got spoiled. It almost makes me feel like there's no looking back. There's no going back. I also really appreciated that they had entertainment available. Now, the only thing I didn't like about that was that you needed uh, earphones. I would have liked that they would have gave like some complimentary ones out, but honey, they didn't even include that. So of course I couldn't even really watch any movies or shows, but they had plenty to offer. I did go scroll through the gallery plenty to offer i also really like that they have a charging port so that you are able to charge your phone the seats were very very comfortable like you can be able to recline them back they were very big they felt big you know i i, I I'm, a, I'm part of the big body being this girl i just felt very small because the chair felt so big does that make any sense like it was very comfortable i love that it reclined the flight itself honey woo honey when i tell you i wish i would have took some drumamine chai the way that thing was up and down and around, you know what I'm saying? On them clouds and bouncing and then your stomach dropping like you on a ride. I know that has nothing to do with the airline per se, honey. But oh uh, yeah, that was the most turbulence I done felt in a long time. I did like that you can communicate with a JetBlue agent through via text message on your phone. At one point I realized that my middle initial was not correct on my plane ticket. I wrote in with the text message via chat and they changed it with no problem. I also needed to change the date of when I was leaving and they charged me $26. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I had Blue Plus because they do have different categories of tickets for JetBlue. And I thought that my ticket included a free change. So I'm gonna have to look into that to see why I was charged or should I have been? I do know that if you get assistance through them, they charge you a fee for them helping you. But I also had issues accessing the, the internet and doing it myself. It kept giving me an error message from JetBlue's website. I do know that it did include health insurance, that's for sure, because it was needed to go to Cuba. If you're flying into Cuba and you enter into the Fort Lauderdale airport, they did not have anything that specifically said Cuba. So you had to ask around or otherwise you would end up in the wrong damn line. Now, good thing there was a lot of agents around that you were able to say, hey, I'm, on, I'm trying to fly into Cuba. Where do I go? And then they told you to go way to the back of the bed. All in all, I would definitely consider flying with this airlines again. If they keep offering the budget prices, I'm going to definitely keep hurrying up and buy. This is very short and sweet because for the most part, it was giving. Have you flown with JetBlue? How was your experience? Come down in them comments and talk to me. I'll talk back. Before you go, be sure to drop this emoji down in the comments. That's how I'm gonna know it's real. Make sure you thumbs up this video. That lets YouTube know that this video needs to be in them YouTube screens for everybody to see. And I wanna thank you so very much for taking your time out to watch my video. Until next time, later.